so let's so let's talk a little bit because we've heard a lot of things already today from different perspectives and I want to give you another one. When I kind of prepared the talk, I've shared this picture on the social media. There's like a lot of things, a lot of things about can talk over here. And actually, I have here also a little bit of notes, uh, like a mind board, because yeah, a little bit of improvisation today. So, with what I want to start with a positive note: that hiring process is broken, <laughs> like completely. From everything what we heard today, that. Some companies still are trying to do puzzles. Yeah, there are recruiters where searching from the LinkedIn for the information in some interesting ways, and uh, interviews are also very strange. Like some have like one step in the interview. Some I have a record I believe of eight or nine uh, steps in the interview till like we get to the offer. So it's kind of crazy. And uh, crazy is that everyone knows it, but that is crazy, right? And we're kind of in it all together, and you can change it. <laughs> it is like it, it is. So even if you are on the side of, uh, of a company, and you try to improve the process over there, and everybody tries, it's such a nice thing to do, everyone goes into these uh, areas, like hiring or interviewing or something else and tries to improve but still it's kind of doomed yeah so okay so uh, on the positive note yeah. let's continue so who is playing this game so as we identify that today there are companies right there are recruiters and there are applicants yeah how many currently over here are like searching for something okay. what else are doing here <laughs> Just eat us. <laughs> Why not? There was even no beer today. We okay. didn't know. <laughs> Enters. <It's the> game. <laughs> okay. You, you, you play all the years. Yeah. yeah. So okay, let's let's start with companies. Yeah. So what companies play? Yeah. And when I am. Uh, speaking about the companies, uh, companies these are all together, like the HRs, uh, people who are working over there, and everyone who might be some sort of involved, right? Recruiters, I have identified them like separately, because even though they are like internal and external, but this is some like special breed. They think differently about about <laughs> about the world. Okay, and we as applicants were. Yeah, completely kind of different. We try to understand what's what's happening, right? So, what they are doing, companies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, the main thing is that that. <laughs> Companies are playing, from my perspective, if what I've seen through the, my journey currently in this industry, is that their main game is around protecting themselves. Yeah, protecting themselves from like mistakes, yeah, from risks in all different areas, including like hiring like the wrong Candidate, yeah, whatever it means for the company, and uh, they have also uh, the limits in the resources, right? For example, there is budget, such thing, yeah, like money. What, for example, you need to know about the budget is that there are different budgets. There is not one budget. Yeah, for example, what you might see in the news, like there is. Uh, Layoffs happening, and at the same time, for some reason, companies still hire. Like how so? Yeah, because there are different budgets right? for like layoffs and for hiring. Yeah. Completely different things, and, they, and these processes kind of are parallel to each other. Yeah. And uh, this is also one of the reasons uh, why you might see like posts on the LinkedIn that hey, we're hiring. And, one season and then 
nobody posting anything in another because there's also kind of some seasonality because people go on vacations and they come back and there are even periods where you should and the better submit your uh, application because you have higher chances like for example soon there will be winter yeah and if you will submit something in december i like in january everyone will forget it and not even like look over there in the, your application so it's and that's how it is yeah. and other resources that they have is employees right they also tend to protect because they bring company money yeah, they're doing something in exchange to the staff. Yeah. So, what they are creating, how they figure out, like, okay, we still need to hire people, but we need to protect ourselves. What they do? There is such a word which is called like process. Right? They're inventing process. Right? And this is how they uh, try to reduce the errors. So, limit. So the first one, how they do it? Yeah. They're limiting the time of uh, the employees spent on the internet. Yeah. Nobody wants you to spend their like eight hours a day. Yeah. So that's why usually you have only like one hour limitation because after that company will be happy that you spent all of the time solving the problems that uh, your company needs to solve. Right. Another thing that already like most I think of the companies already start doing is that they understood that they to to get to the right decision yep. with less risk they um, need to get data right. so they need to have a lot of different views on the same topic yeah to make a decision yeah. why they need And this is actually the reason for the many steps on the interview. Because usually you will meet different people, company will collect many different views, and in the end, when there is someone, maybe not the same people, group of the people, maybe they will be different depending on the company, yeah, they will decide. Yes, we have this information, these pros and cons, what we're gonna do. And usually, if you see in some companies that we are kind of equal employer, something along those lines, and so this is basically what they mean. It's we collect a lot of data, and we are traveling from the position of biased and uh, uh, irrational, yeah. choosing exactly to the rational and unbiased, because more data, we have more chances to choose. Uh, what you actually want to choose. But here's the problem. Right? People are driven by emotions. And we are by nature uh, irrational. And this means that we all have kind of our own biases by default, like built in in us. And how much we will try kind of to remove them, we will not be able kind of to do so. And this is actually another point to the many different views on the same kind of subject well like so to get to the right decision that's why companies have a lot of steps you know, with different people on the cost of that and uh, yeah, for example the biases yeah maybe not wasn't for some group of people example but I've seen for example in my life uh, Multiple times, yeah. The case when there is an interviewer, a man, uh, who, when interviewing a woman, they're automatically lowering the bar of the interview. But this happens automatically. This is kind of not fair, but this is what it is because we're kind of humans. We try to uh, not do it such a way, but sometimes it basically happens automatically. Because controlling emotions, it's a, it's a skill, it's a hard skill. Yeah. So, yeah. people are complicated. Yeah. Even if we kind of talk in the same language, yeah. like for example, me now, English, we all might understand different things. Yeah. I think all of you have been in some meetings with uh, uh, 
and uh, your customers or even your employees and uh, try to figure out that one tiny thing and you spend like endless hours in all of that to only figure out that oh we didn't understand that specific term and now we understand the, the terminology we can move forward right? so this is basically the problem in the communication yeah, even if we talk <laughs> the same language you know, we have kind of problems and that's why we could actually bring the parallel from the hiring to the world of the dating and even though I think dating is a little bit kind of simplified but it should be other way around I think uh, compared to the statistics about the divorces but that's another thing so uh, the question is what do people do when they want to be liked by someone, someone else they try to pretend, they start to pretend right? they wear something nice, they speak a different language, they smile yeah, and all of that and you can even tell some person that hey you had that nice t-shirt and then they're wearing that t-shirt for forever for their life right? so, or on the other side they're actually hiding something right? this is also another thing <laughs> so, <laughs> actually, the name of the game that everyone is playing from like all the sides, like from the company side, from the recruiter side, and we also, this is a game of expectations, right? Because you've heard today that I will give you an example. Now, a lot of companies do the following types of the interviews like coding, system design, and behavioral interview. Yes. These three are currently in a, in a lot of companies like a baseline. Yeah. And you can also hear uh, about the uh, companies who are abroad. They have these three kind of interview stages. If you can uh, spending time preparing for all of those interviews this already starts to ring a bell and you know what is expected on the other side of the fence yeah. you know that for example all the behavioral interview questions in the behavioral interview will start from these lines like tell me about the time when you did something wrong <laughs> yeah. and then you trying to to tell like yes I did, did this and that thankfully there are a lot of resources so if you if you get, for example, uh, an invitation to the interview and you see in the description that hey, we will have the three rounds of the interviews and one is coding, and the second one is system design, and the third one is behavioral interview you actually go to the internet, to the YouTube you sit a few hours over there and basically this is what will be expected you do not need to invent something from your own everything is there there are even some examples uh, from the there are courses where people sell uh, there are websites for example like LeetCode where you can pay and they will show you the coding exercises from like Facebook, Google or whatever so there is a certain expectation and if you will not be able kind of, to fit them you lower your chances kind of, to get it so this is a game yeah. and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And because yeah, because of this, we have that technical interview. <laughs> yeah, give more applause. Yeah, because it's real. Reality is so. Unfortunately, it's sad. Yeah, but it is what it is. Uh, technical interviews. This is a completely separate skill. Yes. Even though we talk today that yes, an interviewer would like to have uh, like a real problems on the interviews and even maybe show you the part of the code base uh, and you will try to refactor it, highlight is still is completely different because you are over there, 
we all were in uh, schools, maybe someone was also in universities, we have some expectation of what is an exam, all the interviews are not like exams, but we have this association that, okay, somebody will assess me when I'm coming and they're stressing, so... You, from my perspective, what I understood, you just need to understand that this is a game. Yeah, a game. That you go over there, speak to people, you know that there were some expectations, you try to fit it, if you fail, maybe not you were wrong, because on the other side there are also people, yeah, and uh, we are all kind of different, we might expect different things, right? So, about the recruiters, yeah, how I could use the recruiters, yeah, they also expect something, because we learned today, right? They expect you to feel the LinkedIn, for example, <laughs> in a certain <laughs> form, right? They uh, also have kind of a lot of pressure around them, yeah, because uh, they they usually have like an order from the companies or someone, and they're like, oh my god, I need to find so many people on the LinkedIn that they start manually searching without using the AI because it's small Latin market, <laughs> and, uh, and so their life is also, but also, also not easy. And we, what we heard today, actually, this is also what we heard today is an expectation of the recruiters, like, like, please, we beg you, you do this, this, and this. We want to see you over there. It's very hard for us to search for you. This is our expectation, right? We expect that our relationships between us are real. But then real stuff is happening, right? So, yeah. <laughs> I need it. I need it to put all this over here. Yeah. <laughs> Which one was it? <laughs> so for it. So sorry. So, I think it's deep though. So yeah, I will, I will leave the slide over here so you can yeah, figure it out just yeah, for us. Yeah, so you can kind of figure out who, who it is, right? <laughs> so so this is the game, and uh, with what is happening in the industry, many companies and many applicants are losing every day, kind of every time, because feeling and expectations of someone that's it's hard, it's almost kind of impossible. Of course you can kind of to play this game, but it's hard. So if you actually would like to play it, what you want to do as an applicant to make fit those expectations, unfortunately there is no kind of easy way kind of to do it. You will need to spend some time on it. But this is kind of what I learned. Yeah. So first of all, when you are invited to the interview, you need to research the company yeah, where you are kind of going for the interview. Yeah, just read through the website, figure out like, what they are doing, what is their subject, etc. Et People on the other side like very much when you are answering their question like, Hey, do you know what our company is doing? And you are answering, yeah, you are doing, doing this and this. They are like, wow, it's amazing, you know so much already. And this is actually nice because what you, what, how you will be remembered after the interview is not about how you kind of solve some, something, but what emotion, yeah, people are thinking about you. So if you will be kind of positive emotion with uh, after the interview of yourself, highly likely they will remember that oh, you know the put that one guy. Let's hire him. It was very fun <coughs> to speak. I think I will be able kind of to work with them. And as previous speaker I spoke today, yeah, it's not about the skills <coughs> nowadays, yeah, if we kind of start to wait too, but it's about like the knowledge of the domain and how good the person is, right? So there is something about that. Another thing what you can do, and I don't see many people do it because maybe they are Currently in our market, do not watch those kind of videos and preparing. 
but I prove myself that this works very nice. Like if you as an uh, applicant, when you're going into the interview, you're already sitting over there, you want to drive the interview. You want to sit there and actually, they for example giving you a task, I don't know, like, please in fact this code we should have right here. And, uh, and you already start like doing what you never do during your normal job. You are refactoring, you are thinking and you are talking. Because you need to talk to explain what's happening in your mind uh, to the interviewer. And they will be so entertained what's happening, they will be focused on you. Like, let's do this, let's move right over here because I think that uh, this needs to be here, here, and here in my experience. Why, why this focus is needed? Because when you drive the interview, you have complete focus on yourself. Yeah, interviewers are focused on you. And then basically you, you are already in the control of the interview. Of course, good interviewers they will continue kind of ask like practical questions. They will be so relieved that they do not need to ask questions. They will be also so happy like that someone can just sit and do the thing. Because on the other side, who are the interviewers? Let's let's put it this Let's try to answer this one. Those are highly likely not a Average regular employees in the company. Those are usually with some high performance, who like to interact with people, who have a lot of stuff going on because they're like seniors and uh, old people going to them asking questions, etc. They are very overloaded and uh, hiring manager also, they're visible for the hiring managers. And they ask them, oh, please get into the interview today. And you're like, oh my god, okay, I will go over there. But in their mind, still some work problems are happening. They're over there they're thinking about their work. Of course, with experience, with interviewers, kind of can disconnect yeah, from that. But uh, it's not always possible. And when there is a person who basically hijacks the microphone from them and starts kind of drive the interview, they're like, hmm, that's interesting, something new. I would like to work with this person. Yeah. You had something? Yeah, so do you mean like reverse uh, interview? So you asking kind of questions <laughs> <laughs> like, how old are you working in this position? No, I mean like asking about the company position, etc. Or you mean like you asking yourself? <laughs> yes, yes. You're basically doing the strange thing of you asking kind of yourself, and you're talking with yourself, and uh, moving in the direction. Basically what's happening in your mind, you're trying to put it through your mouth. Outside, you're exploring and connecting those pieces together if they match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you're answering questions which none of us asked them, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And this, because this thing will, like, in, in a chemistry, it will trigger like a chain of reactions, you know? Because you are asking questions, and then that person says, oh, you know, I never thought about that. It's so interesting. And they already also started to be intrigued. So you're like, everyone is uh, like playing with each other. Yeah. So this is one of the things, and because of that, there is a lot of things kind of to do, right? You need to understand the company, you need to understand what will happen over there, you need uh, kind of to be prepared and um, like for those kind of expectations that are on the other side. And uh, that's a lot of things kind of to do. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of taking a lot of energy actually yeah. from you. Are there other ways? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So let's let's go to the applicants. So applicants. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the ways how you can simplify your life is uh, what was spoken previously um, like, it's like one, one of the benefits kind of you can do is a referral. This is where you're playing already with greed a little bit. Yeah. Because usually when someone referring you as companies there are referral programs. So if you will stay inside of the company you will they will be kind of paid some bonus. Yeah. Some are big bonus, some are not so much, but still. So for a person 
to get the referrals to you is not a big deal. It's like a lottery ticket, you know, like, eh, maybe you go in this company and this will be good for you and I will get paid. Yeah. And uh, this trick is uh, actually giving you more chances to get to the interview stage because in some big companies it's very hard even to get through the screen. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for example, in some big companies like Google, yeah. it's, it can be, if you're just applying, it is forgotten forever over there. Yeah. But if you will apply through the um, referral, you will get to, to the stage that actually somebody will read your application. Yeah. And then they might decide like, yes, you're going to the next round or no. So they're actually answering. The, another area is, uh, is actually to like, become an expert in some sort of, a, I don't know, in some area or in some niche, you know, or sharing your kind of knowledge of LinkedIn as a blog post so you would, everyone kind of would know around that there is such a person and we actually very want to hire him because we're solving this uh, issue. In these scenarios, if you are lucky already that you are such a, an experienced guy, uh, and you are already playing with a uh, desire, right, with lust. The companies wants to hire you, and this is an interesting moment that actually companies can go against all the processes. That you completely game is changing for them. Or they will still put you through the process because they need to do it. But there might be somewhere a person inside who will kind of make corner softer if something went uh, not so good during the interviews. So I think these are the ways. So basically your strategy, your strategy mainly is that you're asking yourself, like this guy over here, like not that I am ready for the interviews, but the question is, is the interview ready for me? This is your kind of emotional strategy should be when you're kind of going in all of that. There is another option how you can uh, get to the offer stage or inside of the company, but in my opinion it's very risky and stressful. In uh, some uh, places like Twitter, uh, there were even like communities who is run by wolves. So basically these are people who are uh, moving in a strategy like fake it until you make it. So actually you can play the interview. You can just prepare for the topics, you can figure out something, if you have a good memory you can remember a lot of buzzwords and just go through the interview with some companies and get inside. But the question then is, how long would you be able kind of, to protect? Right? If you actually don't know the topic, but you got in, it might be very stressful. There are such examples, but uh, yeah, I want to give Another one, it's actually very funny and you can uh, Google it uh, or whatever search engine you're currently using or like perplexity or something. Yeah, there is a Reddit recruiting hell and this is a story of this three years ago and this will be about the application. So this whole CV is fake. All the, the person is real, right? But she wasn't in Instagram, she wasn't at Zillow, she wasn't at LinkedIn, and there are also other all other places. All the links that you see over here on the resume, even uh, the email one on the top with the application, the app over there, all leading to the recrawl video on the YouTube. <laughs> and recruiters call her. Like they willing her to get uh, to the interview because she has like all the big brands over there. Yeah, she worked over there. She has such massive experience over there. So you kind of get it. Yeah. So I will quote for a comment from there, from from uh, the, the post. Uh, like after getting turned away multiple times, I decided to do an experiment to see if recruiters actually read resumes. They don't. With that resume, I got 90% callback rate. Like companies including like Notion, Apartment with Quizlet, from Housekeeper Life, from Airbnb, and others like were all wanting to get a person in. 
Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. But still, we will be majority of us like the front engineers. So, yeah. So with the previous one, I want to tell that you know, like everybody lies. Yeah. You can also lie a little in your resume to get through, to make it prettier. Yeah. Why not? I can give you a hint that you can do it in behavior interviews and uh, no one will check. Yeah. So this is the game. I hope that you understand it now a little bit better. What's happening in the minds of the companies, of the recruiters, and that basically our thing that we can do as an applicant is just right away as a surfers currently. Okay. But maybe something will change. Who knows? So yeah, that's it for all for today. Thank you. There are questions. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> well let's imagine like dating and hire <laughs> why, why it start still not as easy as swiping left or right like there is a guy because oh. there is a guy looking for a coffee smart colleagues and a playstation and there is a company having coffee nice colleagues and xbox maybe and they are still good enough match and they can talk why it's not so easy why it's like linkedin with pages AI about us, smart like you listing your PHP 4 projects 20 years ago, and etc. Mm. From my perspective, and how I understand this, yeah, is that, as I mentioned, this is related to the risk. Companies understand current the risks better than individuals going into the data. Yeah. What's then over there? Yeah, they know about the legal implications, yeah, they know about the how they need to be protected, yeah. and just swiping over there and looking that oh they have Xbox or uh, PlayStation over there, and then coming to them and they give you please sign this paper, yeah, that uh, you will not share any information about what we are doing over here, and uh, you will be like then, I don't know what whatever they will gonna tell you to do if you will do that. So I believe this is with uh, risks, understanding of the risks. And the companies know why, and that's why they try to minimize it, and that's why we'll, I think we'll not see in a long time anything quite like close to the linked Tinder, <laughs> <laughs> such a thing. I don't know, maybe some, some recruiters are all already pretty creative and maybe looking for the additional resources. I've heard such stories. <laughs> <laughs> From a friend, right? Yes. <laughs> sure. Any more questions? Yanis yes. Yanis always has questions. Yeah, somehow I always have some questions. So That's uh, good. That's good. Thank you. Uh, so basically, you, you saw the idea that it's, it's a game, right? The hiring process is a game from all parts. So how would your if you would be a manager for the company, how would your perfect hiring pr process would look like? You know, from, from my perspective, I would go with the uh, most popular road nowadays. It is for the IT. We're currently speaking about the IT. Software engineering. Yes, yes, yes. It is uh, what I've spoken today. There's three parts. It's uh, coding, design, and behavioral interview. In practice, I think this is maybe not a pleasant kind of combination for the applicant, but uh, it gives a lot of information and different views on the applicant. So I think nowadays I will not invent anything else anymore. I will go with the standard route. Thank you. Yes? I don't have a question. Uh, what is an addition, let's say, had to have many interviews during the last year and beginning of this and I've noticed that even if you like prepare yourself to navigate through all this, what, sometimes what really 
place <laughs> against you or for you is a human factor. And yeah. I think that such what people should realize that sometimes it's nothing wrong with you. Company may have really good policies, but some very young recruiter may just dislike your answer to behavioral question and without even asking why you answer it like that, just change your face and then you don't go further. And it's not your fault. And uh, I think it's even good maybe that you won't be hired because maybe you wouldn't be happy in such company yeah. or something like that. But yeah, I agree with that. No wanted to also to add on top of it is that if you went through the various stages in your interview and for some reason you do not hear back from the HR person or the, or the, or the recruiter for some reason and you feel that you are ghosted or something try to this could be proactive and ask because maybe something happened you know on the other side Companies are also not, not ideal, yeah, as people not ideal, and there might happen like, I don't know, person was fired, yeah, a HR person who lead you, and the whole communication basically lost. Yeah. Happens sometimes. Yeah. So don't think, yeah, as uh, you mentioned, don't think that the problem is like in you, it's actually in them, in most of the cases. You've mentioned about the risks of the company and that's natural thing, what they do, reduce the risks. However, uh, do you think pushing or actually creating new risks of this game when kind of both worlds are pretending to be something where someone uh, is more risky than to be just, I mean, who we are, company be more honest, reducing this game? and reducing, not creating new risks, but that's the main actually point. Well, you're right, it's great, but unfortunately this is the reality we are living in. We already have like Instagram, TikTok, where people are like, hey, yeah, smiling, we're on the vacation, teacher is so cool. <laughs> yeah. I have a six pack and everything, yeah, like, so. <laughs> Where do you think this area? I don't know how long time we will need to actually get to the understanding that actually people are in reality different yeah, and we need to treat them differently. Yeah. But, yeah. It's so okay. it's not some kind of process that, or transformation that we are in, not yet, right? I think no. For a long time now. <laughs> Whatever it is. Yes, I agree. Maybe. From one side, by the way, there are websites like OTA, which already provides more information on the company. So it's kind of small research about funding, about like general inspiration, also links to Trustpilot, Glassdoor, and etc. So you kind of can pick an eye on like from third party, what it is. Like maybe from company side, there's difficulties to get that about the candidate, of course, that could be your Instagram and TikTok of six packs, but uh, of course, six packs of uh, beards, and, uh, but uh, I think it's changing a bit. It's not just like playing you have a like, name of the company and field of work. Yeah, but I mean, uh, like companies are asking for motivation letters or, or, or such a thing, like who is actually writing real things. Who I, is I, I, who I is want to work there to earn money, I'm software engineer, right? I have this and that scales and I just well I'm just looking for a work, right? I think this or uh, literally small amount of people. Yeah, maybe it's just like Boolean, you know. Wrote the motivation layer, okay. This done. <laughs> and because actually we're in, in the very interesting moment, like we are uh, making better our resumes with help of the AI. Yeah. Recruiters are searching for us with the AI. Companies are making their job applications also with AI to make them polished. Yeah. So soon we will have like email conversations. Maybe even already someone in I don't know, like Silicon Valley already is doing like AI speaking with AI and getting the job offers like automatically. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Interesting world we're living in. So you are uh, asking us to play your game now? Or? Sure! <laughs> <laughs> if you are willing to, yeah, you can. Maybe, maybe it's 
of last year. Maybe mm -hmm. uh, yes. one sec. For how how long it should take like single interview from company side and, and, and maybe uh, applicant side uh, to spend on, on one interview? I mean like connection between two entities. So should it be like I don't know half of the day, the whole process, or should it be few hours? Of, of course, a company had multiple applicants, and applicants have multiple. You're companies. asking this question from whom perspective? Because companies usually. Okay, not really. The majority, most of the companies, actually they are not caring a lot about the applicant and how many times they were spent. Right? But from the like research and something, it usually should be altogether less, like three hours or less. Mm. So be like, no, it's, it's, it's still kind of too much, right? But uh, I think that this should be enough. That's why you have like, for example, three stages with different people, one hour each. Good. Yes? So, uh, picking up the dating analogy, so <laughs> ultimately what you're saying, in three hours you should be able to understand if I'm marrying this person or not. <laughs> <laughs> but this is how dating works, though. <laughs> this is what you expect. But you will have three months. But yeah, three exactly. stages. So you have a probation period, actually. <laughs> In the real company, you have three months of probation period yeah. here in Latvia, somewhere abroad, like six months. Some, somewhere ago, if it was even nine months, somewhere? Just like kind of nine months. But in reality, yeah. this uh, so like, dating thing is even less than three hours. It's, it's, and then it's a bar or club thing, right? In the morning, you're like, you, you decided, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's actually those three, five hours. That's what it is. Yeah. There was, there was question, right? I like this. Oh, no. <laughs> Three months are pretty enough to, to understand. Oh, that's after, yeah, that's sure. Yeah. So, <laughs> to pilot this. So, now it's game. No, no, thank you. Yeah. Yay!